in the given problem we have a t section and we are asked to find the centroid of this component we can get this solution in few simple steps so follow along so in step number 1 at first we have to see if there are any symmetrical axes in this problem there is one symmetrical axis in vertical direction so whenever there is a symmetrical axis the centroid will stay on it so always look out for symmetrical axis finding the position of centroid means finding the x and y coordinate of that point we denote the x coordinate of centroid as x bar and y coordinate as y bar so let's move on to step number 2 the components like this are made of simple shapes here this t section is made of two rectangular blocks now we need to find the simple shapes which make up the component the reason is simple we know the formulas to find the centroid of these simple shapes and calculations become simple we also have a formula where these individual centroids can be used to get the centroid of the whole component so we will mark two components as rectangle 1 and rectangle 2 now it's time to move on to step number 3 we need to find the area of these simple shapes for our calculations so let's consider rectangle 1 it has a length of 120 mm and the height of 10 mm we know the area of rectangle is length into height that will be 120 into 10 so it will be 1200 mm square we need to remember this area so we will have a small tabular column where we can write these values for reference similarly in rectangle 2 its length is 10 mm and height is 60 mm the area as you know is length into height so we will have 10 into 60 which is equal to 600 mm square we tabulate this value also now we are halfway through the problem there are three more steps before we get to our answer let's move on to step number 4 as we discussed at the start of this video we need to find the centroidal distances of each rectangle and combine it to get the answer this means finding the centroids of each rectangle the centroidal distances means the distance of centroid from x and y axis so in rectangle 1 the centroid will be at the center of the rectangle we call it g1 the distance of g1 from y axis that is the horizontal distance is taken as x1 so x1 will be half of the length that will be 120 by 2 so x1 will be equal to 60 mm we will tabulate this value the distance of same point g1 from x axis that is at the bottom will be y1 so the vertical distance which you have to travel from x axis till we reach point g1 is y1 So y1 will be equal to 60 mm plus half of the height of the rectangle 1 that is 10 by 2. So the whole height of y1 will be 65 mm. Therefore we have a centroid of rectangle at x1 equals 60 mm and y1 equals 65 mm. Similarly in rectangle 2 we need to find x and y distances from centroid g2. x2 is the distance from y axis that is the horizontal distance from y axis as the centroid lies on the symmetrical axis we get x2 value as 120 by 2 that is 60 mm similarly y2 will be the half of the height of rectangle 2 that is 60 by 2 so y2 will be 30 mm so at the end we have the centroid g2 at x2 equals 60 mm and y2 equals 30 mm So after all these calculations we have our table like this it has area of each rectangle and centroidal distances from x and y axis now let's move on to step number 5 this is the penultimate step to calculate the centroid of any component we have a formula for x bar and y bar which are given here x bar is equal to a1x1 plus a2x2 divided by the whole area that is a1 plus a2 y bar will be equal to a1y1 plus a2y2 
and the whole thing divided by the total area that is a1 plus a2. Now substituting the values from the table in these equations we will have x bar as 1200 into 60 that is a1 x1 plus 600 into 60 that is a2 x2 divided by the whole area 1200 plus 600 that is a1 plus a2. On simplifying we will get x bar as 1,8,000 divided by 1,800. On further simplification, we get x bar value as 60 mm. Similarly, substituting for y bar, we will have y bar as 1,200 into 65 that is a1y1 plus 600 into 30 that is a2y2 divided by 1,800 the total area a1 plus a2. On simplifying, we get y bar as 96,000 divided by 1800 which will be y bar as 53.33 mm. So we have the answer for centroid of given component at x bar and y bar which are 60 mm and 53.3 mm respectively. So step number 6. In step number 6 we will be marking the centroid on the given figure and will be writing the answers of centroidal coordinates. So x bar will be at 60 mm and y bar will be at 53.33 mm. We can plot this on the figure as g. You cannot measure it accurately on the given figure but try to keep it as close as possible to the values of x bar and y bar. So that's the solution for problem 1 the centroid of t section. Understand the logic behind each step and follow this step by step procedure. In the next video, we will solve another interesting problem on centroid of some other section. See you there.